Have you ever wondered what it means if a woman has big lips? Stick around. Before we dive into that, let's explore some psychological facts and lessons that everyone should know. Why marrying late is better than marrying the wrong person early. Society often pressures individuals to marry by a certain age, viewing those who don't conform as rebels or looking down on them for remaining unmarried. But why does society assume there's something wrong with people who choose to wait rather than settle with someone they don't truly want to be with? For generations, both men and women have faced criticism for opting to stay single in order to marry the right person later in life. Here are some reasons why waiting to marry can be far better than rushing into marriage with the wrong person. 1. Fewer chances of separation. When you take your time to find the right person, the chances of marrying someone incompatible significantly decrease. Choosing to wait rather than marrying simply because you've reached a certain age creates a stronger foundation for a happy marriage. Many people end up unhappy in their marriages because they rushed into it to avoid the turmoil of divorce later on. 2. Leverage on individual choices. If you value making independent choices, marrying later might be the best option for you. You can break free from societal expectations and disregard the pressure to marry by a certain age, choosing instead to marry on your own terms without being influenced by others' opinions. 3. Evolution of feelings. Many couples who marry in their late twenties often find themselves falling out of love with their spouse later on. Your twenties and early thirties are a time for gaining life experience and exploring different opportunities. As you grow and change, your feelings may evolve, leading you to seek different experiences or partners in the future. 4. The right opportunity. Truthfully, finding the right person requires significant time, effort, patience, and understanding, and it's completely okay for people to take their time in this process. No one should feel pressured to marry young simply because marriage is seen as a societal status symbol regardless of how unhappy or unloved they might be in that marriage. 5. Rushing commitments. Marrying early can sometimes force you to rush through life stages that you might not be fully prepared for. For instance, having children just a couple of years into your marriage and then struggling to care for them can lead to greater challenges than if you had waited to marry later. In contrast, marrying later allows you to be more certain about the commitments you're ready to make helping you navigate the tougher phases of life with greater ease. Big differences between making love and having sex. Physical intimacy is something many of us experience in life, but if you're unsure whether it's just casual sex or something deeper, keep reading. There are certain signs that can help you determine if you're truly making love or simply having casual sex. Here are six key differences between the two. One feelings involved or not some people engage in physical relationships that lack emotional attachment where it's purely about mutual enjoyment in contrast making love occurs only with someone you have genuine feelings for it's a way to express and communicate your love and care for your partner two one time thing or regular if you've only been intimate with someone once it's likely casual sex that both of you consented to. However, if you're consistently being intimate with someone, it could indicate that you're making love. The mutual understanding of each other's desires and the selfless effort to fulfill them are signs that your connection might be deeper. 3. Exclusive or not. If you and your partner are being intimate with multiple people, what you have is likely just casual sex. However, if you are exclusively involved with each other, it suggests that you're making love and that there are genuine feelings between you. 4. More tender or not. If you're focused solely on your own physical satisfaction without considering your partner, it's likely just casual sex. However, if you also think about your partner's needs and approach the experience with tenderness and care, it indicates that you are making love to each other. 5 letting your guard down in casual sex you're unlikely to let your guard down or feel comfortable sharing your vulnerabilities 
you won't be eager for them to know the real you. However, if you are making love, you'll probably feel at ease with them understanding your true self. 6. Closer together or not. If, after being intimate, you feel emotionally closer to the other person, it suggests that you were making love and sharing more than just a physical connection. However, if you don't feel any deeper connection, it likely means you were engaged in casual sex. Tips to master the first kiss to impress your partner. Kisses are an incredibly sensual form of intimacy that can leave you breathless and craving more. If done poorly, however, they can create a lasting negative impression on your crush or partner. No one enjoys kissing someone who isn't skilled at it. Fortunately, with the right techniques and awareness of timing and situation, even a simple kiss can be made more romantic. Here are some tips to enhance your kissing skills. 1. Don't kiss too soon. You might be excited to kiss your special someone, but doing so too soon can make them uncomfortable or even upset. They might feel their personal space is being encroached upon. Moreover, if your kissing skills aren't up to par, it could seriously diminish your chances of making a positive impression. 2. Don't be too late. Choosing the right time and moment is crucial for setting a sensual atmosphere for both you and your partner. However, if you wait too long, your partner might interpret it as a lack of interest, which could lead them to place you in the friend zone and diminish your opportunities. 3. The right moment. The question, when is the right moment to kiss them, is one that many people ponder as they prepare for a kiss. For some, it might feel appropriate on the first date, while for others, it may take weeks or even months. However, there are subtle signs that can provide clues about whether your partner is ready for a kiss or not. 4. Intense looks. If your partner is giving you a lingering, intense look and occasionally glancing at your lips, it's a strong indication that they're expecting you to kiss them. Some might even lightly lick their lips to ensure they're ready for a kiss. 5. Hanging around more during goodbye. If the date is coming to an end and your partner seems reluctant to leave or is subtly trying to extend the time, it's likely they're hoping for a kiss. Ending the date on a high note with a kiss can be the perfect way to wrap up the evening. 6. Or just be direct. Gently turn to face your partner and gradually close the distance between your lips and theirs. If they pull back, it's a sign they're not ready for a kiss. If they slightly tilt their head and move closer playfully, they likely want a kiss but are waiting for you to make the first move. If they kiss you right away, you can respond with a short, slow, or passionate kiss, depending on the moment. Here is the fact you've been waiting for. If a woman has big lips, it means she may experience heightened sensitivity due to increased nerve endings. Labial hypertrophy is the medical term for enlarged vaginal lips, or labia. It can be normal for labia to appear larger during puberty, as the labia minora may look larger than the labia majora before fat deposits cause the labia majora to grow. Many people are born with large labia that are asymmetrical and don't cause any negative side effects. Other causes of labial hypertrophy include wheelchair use, which can cause constant pressure and stimulation to the labia, antibiotic use, pregnancy, diabetes, oral contraceptive use. Labial hypertrophy isn't usually a cause for concern, and treatment may not be necessary unless it causes discomfort or irritation. However, if symptoms cause recurrent infections or significantly impact your life, labiaplasty may be helpful. You can also talk to your doctor if you have any questions or concerns. If you agree with these points, type yes in the comments and let me know your favorite part of this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.